Newspaper readers who live in Southside Hampton Roads used to be able to choose from the Virginian Pilot or Ledger Star, and those who live on the peninsula could pick from either the Daily Press or Times Herald. But now there's a choice in certain Tidewater cities, as the newspapers are making an attempt to reach readers who live on the other side of the water. For years, neither paper seemed interested in the market that existed across the Hampton Roads Tunnel, partially because of the tolls. But even after the tolls came off the tunnel and the James River Bridge, there wasn't a big push by either company. And after the uh, toll was taken off the tunnel, there was a, a, a feeling in newspaper, possibly in both newspapers, that don't be too aggressive on the other side, that the market wasn't needed. Uh, we, had a, we have a nice market here, the five city area we have. But that has changed. After being available over the counter, the pilot began vending machine sales in April, and the Daily Press followed suit in June. The Daily Press is now available in some 7-Elevens in Ocean View, and the pilot plans to soon tap that market on the peninsula. Both papers are selling between 13 and 1,500 editions a week on the other side, and spokesmen for both companies say they see an expanding market, but are not planning a head-to-head -head circulation war. The Daily Press says it tries to reach readers close to the peninsula, while the pilot's plan is to pick up peninsula readers who want to know what's going on in Southside Hampton Roads. But not to try to saturate the market, because we know we can't compete with the Daily Press or the Times Herald. However, Saul says competition is good for the newspapers and especially good for the readers. It gives them a choice, and I think uh, by having a choice between which newspaper to, to buy, could result in editorial improvements on both papers' parts. So it could be a benefit for both communities, I think. Mike Deason, Area 10 Eyewitness News.